Hey guys, my name is John Dahl and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys all have an amazing day as always guys. And today we're going to be talking about Solana, current state of the you know market, how everything's going. Is the whitelist meta dead? Obviously, we're going to be talking about a lot of cool topics today. Uh, seems like a lot of people are super down about Solana. Um, not just Solana, but NFTs in general. People have been hurting all over the board. And you see people like talking on Twitter, talking crap to each other. Everyone's getting mad at each other. And this is when I am like extra bullish on NFTs. I've always been that type of person to play against the narrative. Whatever it is, whatever people think is going to happen, I am always betting the opposite. I don't know why. I've just kind of always been that way. I've been more of a pessimist when it comes to the common narrative of what other humans think. Uh, right now, I'm super bullish on NFTs. I think there are some of the best opportunities out there right now if you just kind of look and do your research. Obviously, this is never, ever, ever financial or investment advice. Never take it that way, guys. Not what these videos are meant for. But I still think there's immense opportunity everywhere. I still think there's great teams everywhere. I think there's some amazing entry points when it comes to Solana and the type of projects on Solana. The only reason I'm so strongly think that is because, you know, a lot of these projects don't have a really steep entry price and there's some real reputable teams working behind these projects. And if they can actually deliver, you know, you may be able to make a quick buck. But honestly, for the most part, the whole entire market has been bleeding like crazy. Um, people have been super, super sad, just kind of like feeling like they've lost all the money in the world. And yeah, honestly, I'm more bullish than ever. So it's just kind of how I roll. So uh, let's get straight into the video of, uh, as to what I think is going to be going on and where I think the whole entire market's going. And let's get straight into it. So obviously, we're sitting at a, a $860 million, um, you know, market cap right now when it comes to NFTs all across the board. Uh, really, honestly, you know, Solana is obviously taking a huge dip. The all-time high of being 250 bucks, now sitting at like $81. Probably could see this go even a little bit lower, you know, depending on the state of the world, what goes on, maybe go down to $60 again. But really, I think that's going to be it, man. I, I honestly, I think these things are going to, you know, really kind of lash back. Obviously, it depends on different things. But I mean, if I have to be completely honest, I think that um, it's only going to bleed a little bit further. People are going to get a little bit more fearful and then things are going to start to turn around. But I, I mean, I could totally be wrong about that. Uh, maybe, you know, we just go up from there. Yeah, that could totally be possible, too. But um, I don't know. I just I really don't think that with the currency of the world and everything of how things are looking overall, that this is going to be um, lasting that much longer, good or bad. Now, um, still overall the whole entire types of projects that you can get in obviously a lot of these top blue chip projects are pretty steeped for you to get into but really i think you know obviously i think some of these projects are still in some pretty good entry points i think uh, you know maybe dj abe all the you know kind of the starters like dj abe i still think is at a pretty good price for for the type of project that they are um stone Ape crew d, d gods have just absolutely blown out of crazy proportions about a um you know officially drop the dead gods um, you know, here in the future. So um, they have seen some immense growth. They were sitting at like six soul about a month ago. And then now they're sitting at 48 soul. So unbelievable picks. But those are the type of projects like kind of what D gods just did, where you can find these type of D gods all over the place. Like if you actually really, you know, look into these projects, look into the teams behind these projects and what they're doing, then you might be able to catch on to um, some really solid plays like you know soul gods i still think is an absolutely solid play for their type of project same thing with the suites i think the suites are super undervalued right now but really like those are just the top projects right and a lot of these different projects that like if you really think about it like we're still so early and everyone kind of you know if you've been in the solana space it's almost like the longer that you've been here the more like you feel like it's just kind of being a drag and like things are just not really moving the longer you're in the space you probably think you probably just get slowly more pessimistic about the whole entire space like i see a lot of these like people on Twitter saying like, oh, I hate Solana, this, this, and that. And then meanwhile, all these new people come to Solana like, oh, Solana is the best thing ever. This is amazing. Like there is certainly a divide there. And I, I mean, I've been in the space for a while now. I've been here since like what, Bold Badgers minted. And now I can really say that like really the longer you're in the space, the longer that you're feeling it, the longer that you're, you know, really in it and feeling it and understanding it and learning from it, the more, the more that you kind of do become um, more of a pessimistic about the whole entire process, I feel like. I mean, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I certainly feel that way. And I feel like a lot of these OGs in the space who were going crazy during the whole, you know, NFT bull run or any any project that was dropping was going to, you know, crazy lengths or all that good stuff. I, I think because that's kind of over now, people are just kind of longing for that to come back when I really think that, uh, you know, really you have to do a crazy amount more research obviously there's been so many projects dropping on solana uh, and you know it's crazy to think because you know we think we think there's a lot of projects now like just wait until you get you know a few more million of the wallets um, a lot more people getting interested into solana just you're just going to have more projects dropping more higher quality dropping which i think 
where with everything the way that things are leading right now um, because you can't just spring up a project anymore and just kind of call it a day uh, I feel like that's going to be a good thing for Solana I think people are just kind of um, because of the current state of things they're just kind of putting their head down working plowing ahead that's really kind of what you're seeing right now and especially if we go like in a you know solid bear market for like what or like a recession who knows uh, really I think people are just going to put their heads down just keep working working hard doing what they love and if we see more of that, those are the type of teams you're going to want to be getting into. I mean, that's just, uh, you know, obvious facts. Like any team that is just kind of, despite any any form of, you know, failure or whatever is happening to them, they're willing to just put their head down and keep going forward. You know, despite how hard it can be sometimes, those are always the teams that I'm looking for because I know how hard it can be and how solid of, you know, of teams that there are out there. I mean, projects that I guess are worth really noting. Magnum AI, I, I listened to um, his project the other day. He's sitting about 0.87 sold. This man's been bleeding. Um, this, this project's been bleeding a little bit for a while now, but uh, I really liked the guy behind the project. He seemed like he was really genuine with like what he was doing and with their whole entire concept. Now, the whole thing is, though, a lot of people thought that his project was a gaming project, right? Because it wasn't actually a game project, I feel like a lot of people just kind of mistake, mistook what was going on there. But I mean, I still feel like there's a lot of projects in like, you know, the really lower cap ranges that could still really do well. I mean, really, there's a lot of good ones for sure. But yeah, honestly, when it comes to new projects, I think the whole entire idea of the whole whitelist meta is slowly kind of leaving. And with the whitelist meta gone, not necessarily gone. I mean, there's still a lot of projects doing the whole whitelist thing, but it's not as like a hit as it was, you know, even four to five weeks ago. Uh, people are looking for new and better things. And, you know, being able to identify the new trends before, like, you know, right when they're starting, uh, that's definitely the best thing about getting into, you know, discords and learning and looking at things. What is, what is the alpha? Uh, a lot of these projects really offer up a lot of free alpha just for you to, you know, go into the discord and see. And some of your best plays, you, you just, you know, if you just pay a little bit of attention to to upcoming projects and why some people like other projects other more than others and if you can just find out the new trends obviously a lot of these projects that you see on these upcoming tabs aren't usually that good uh really the best projects that you're going to find are usually the ones either you know launching on magic eden's launchpad or you know you find them in the discord alpha discords finding them in um you know whitelist giveaways that type of stuff usually that's where you get some of the best projects really being able to do your research and identify what trends there are uh like like we said we just kind of went through that whole whitelist meta where you, if you just had whitelist you were just going crazy but then famous fox veteran with their whole token system kind of kind of messed up that whole entire thing and now being able to identify which projects are next is just the biggest thing like it's just the biggest trends uh but right now things have really slowed up a bit things have really dried up in the sense that you know not every project is just kind of hitting anymore now it's like all this kind of money is kind of being poured into like you know top teams top sp top projects, projects that people, you know, have seen do good for a while now. Those are the type of projects that you're going to be wanting to look into now. Uh, like I said, not financial advice. Still love everything about the, the whole entire space. I still think seeing all these people get really pessimistic about NFTs just makes me a whole lot more bullish. And I'm super excited to see uh, where all these projects head. So, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Helps me out big time. Uh, if you guys want to go check out my Twitter, that will be at Dalton NFT. You know the vibe. Always trying to keep it um, good vibes all over the place. Not only that, just created a new Discord. If that interests you guys at all, go check out my new Discord. It's completely free. You guys can go check out any alpha. Brand new right now. We're not too established yet, but if you guys want to be one of those first pioneers in my Discord, go check that out. Uh, start leveling yourself up so you guys can get ahead of everyone else. And yeah, honestly, I'm super excited to keep rolling with everything. Uh, if you guys want to, please leave a like and subscribe. Helps me out bedtime. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Peace out. John Dalton. <laughs>